Oh. Wow, the live thing just showed up. Yeah. Whoa. It's happening. Can we interact with these people in any way? Possibly. Okay, so it's actually right now is when people are going to start seeing. Oh, there's okay. Kevin. Hi, me, Hi. Hey. Are we the three people who are viewing this right now? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Okay. This is going to be really fun because we've never done this. So we have literally no idea what we're doing. No, we have none. <laughs> what? We're just what winning. YouTube account is this under? A dime back. Yeah. This is the, I am currently oh. operating as a dime back. I'm in charge. Oh, I I'm see it. Oh, I'm watching it now. I think there's like a, a several second delay. So apologies to all the people who are watching this and trying to sync it up with their mm. TV broadcast. Yeah, I just turned it on. It's fucking wild. I turn mine way down. I turn mine way down. Otherwise, this is going to be a, a mess. Oh. So hi, everyone. Welcome to the Dimeback Podcast. Are you Tyler Wilkinson? I am today. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good morning, everybody. <laughs> All right. So we're on Twitter. We're on YouTube. I, I think, can people talk to us? Is there a way for them to chat? There, I think, yes. One second. Let me. There is a chat room now. Yeah. All right. I'm going to open it in another window and just mute that window. So then if people say something in the chat, we okay, you're it. in charge of the chat, Russ. You're in right. charge. This angle is really unfortunate for me, I'm not gonna lie. Social media manager Russ Steinberg. That is me. Well, actually though. <laughs> oh hi Bill Raftery. Oh, oh, yeah. uh, goat. Absolute goat. Absolute goat. I'm excited for all of you. My Peter's on his way, bringing me a breakfast sandwich. Good. I'm excited about that. They just gave Jalen Adams a commemorative ball for his 1,000th point. Cool. Congratulations. Right. So, so, how's this game right. going to go? Like, are, are you all as concerned about what happens today as I am? I'm, I'm going to. Tyler. Tyler, have you been kidnapped? He's Are you gonna, okay? Tyler is yeah. not going to be able to hear us hear at us. all. He's just like checking in. Tyler Bro. is tied up in Dom's trunk right now. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, is some, that is some good reporter get. Um, so my thinking with Larry in the mask is this. We are going to find out today if he is actually good. Because... Like, we like to say that he is actually bad, but then he is the UConn's second leading scorer. But if you can't, like, dominate in a mask in a UConn jersey, like, go home. So Rip this, Hamilton or nothing this, is really where right. I'm at. Like, <laughs> if you're wearing a mask, you should be putting up 20 points a game. I agree. I 100% agree, Russ. That's a completely reasonable and fair take. Basically, if UConn wins, it's because of Terry Larrier, and if they lose, it is because of Terry Larrier. <laughs> there's no, there's no other variable that could Absolutely cause UConn not. to lose no. to Villanova today. No That's other variable. Fair and reasonable, and I feel like Terry deserves that. Oh, Chris, thank you. What does Chris say? Who's is, is that? Lakata, Chris? No, uh, Chris Schutte, uh from Mid Major Madness saying Russ looking like a damn snack. <laughs> Oh, hi, Russ. I said on the podcast that I would wear the gorilla suit. I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm gonna, the Russ phones. I've got Goofy John, old school. Bar mom gave this to me because she is the best mom. That is probably the worst of the UConn mascots, but we'll let it slide. You son of a bitch. I will come to New York to slap your face. Meacham is, is got the Nike swoosh. He's looking very official. Yeah. He's got the uh, UConn assistant coach recruiting trip outfit on. <laughs> is this the thing? Do we need to like put it up? Yeah. I also am not going to bring. I also am not going to bring in a top ten recruit today. So <laughs> this is the UConn official recruiting outfit. <laughs> so 
So we are we have live updates from the other half of No Escalators. We're all gonna have to try really hard not to use his real name in this. <laughs> Big Ron. He's Big gonna Ron. be mad at us if we actually use his real name. So I'm gonna try really hard not to use it. <laughs> we'll edit this all in post. This. If you guys missed it, I really upset some uh, Philadelphia people on Twitter a few minutes ago, and I'm doing, I'm just so happy. Um, I tweeted, Wawa is stupid. It's a grinder, not a hoagie, and something, something, second round. That's fantastic, and I agree. I hit all the food groups. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, what are our actual predictions for this game? I think we're going to lose by 40, and I'm going to, like, cry. I do. Villanova 86 to 56. No, I think this mirrors the Wichita State game. You think? So they're going to come out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, well, I was just going to have a real good point at some point, and then you're just going to dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Tyler was clapping along to the beat. That was very uh, on brand. That was fantastic. Well, this is going to be really on brand for us, guys. It's going to be really, really professional yeah. and not at all. <laughs> Tyler says that's all we get in the chat. <laughs> and Chris asks if we could go to Wawa on our trip. We're going to Philadelphia in a couple of weeks. And I say yes because I want to shit on it. Is this like a mid-major mid -major major yes. meetup? Yeah, it's our annual road trip. Dope. Oh, wow, Larry looks crazy with that mask on. We're winning by 50. Absolutely. Harry Hamilton up in here. I will say, finally, Ollie's putting the best starting five on the floor. That's, That's good. Who's he got so, out there? Adams, Vital, Whaley, Larry, and Carlton. Good. The good lineup. It is the good right. lineup. I'm going to say Villanova, 83, UConn, uh, 68. Right, everyone everyone shut up so we can hear Raph do his open. Ah, All right, we can talk now. Love him. Love you. Love you. Oh. Wish you called more of our games. Yeah, Wish well, you, you have to be relevant. Or in the Big East. Or in the Big East. Hey, Boo and Baz Mom are both there. Fantastic. That's a good one. And also, RJ Evans' dad is there, too. Ooh. Yeah. I wonder if he and Baz mom. I don't know. Oh, Russ. Jealous. Oh, should we not be able to say that on the live chat? Well, I mean, who knows, really? But nobody's listening. We are, there That's are at least true. 10 people listening. There are 10 people watching right now. I'm so although, sorry. Although, you. One of them is me and one of them is Tyler. So and one of them is me, I think. <laughs> okay. Really, it's only like three people. You should uh, tweet it out again from the uh, Dimeback account. Oh, I don't know that I have oh. that. See if I can sign it to tweet there. Well, so, solid start. All right. So we're a minute in and we're not losing yet. So that's a good thing. Now, Villanova's only loss oh, – oh, good. Villanova's only loss was to Butler, and Butler hit, like, 500 threes in that game. Oh, that seems to be a good strategy oh, for us. That was a nice little yeah. move. Yeah. That was. All right, so now if you can't keep them scoreless for the next 38 minutes, they're going to win the game. <laughs> little zone. Walk. Oh, that that wasn't good. Although we've got two minutes and Carlton has not committed a foul yet. No one's committed a foul. Yeah, so don't don't tell me that UConn players don't improve. Oh fuck you. Larry's just gonna take fifty-two shots in this game. 
Yes, Larry Terrier is a great spoonerism. We've discussed that many times, and it's always true. They to stay in the game, Oh, so I guess Jalen Brunson's going to score 55 points. That's He's going to be like the, uh, who was it, Scotty Reynolds of this game. Fun. That sounds like great fun. I'm into that. Tall. Oh. Love to not get rebounds ever. How is it that like UConn could blow the whistle? <laughs> Jesus. How does that happen? Oh, Jesus. All right. All right. So, so this is good. Bridges just ended all of our lives. We're all dead now. We are dead. Um, I'm very dead. I'm extremely dead. So, uh, yeah, that'll do it for the live stream. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Tune in next time, which will never happen. <laughs> so so maybe if we do it, event. we should do it for the USF game because oh. maybe maybe Quentin Williams will dunk. That's true. It, it would go very viral if all of us just, like, jumped and oh, broke sure. everything in the uh, in camera view. Yeah. Yeah, we should do that. What? Uh, I think that might be a hair ahead of me. The one was up by 18 on my stream. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's actually, it is now an insurmountable three-point lead. Oh, yeah. Five-point right. lead. No, nope, three-point. Oh, yeah. Three. I think I am a little bit ahead of you. I'm watching on the big boy TV. I'm also watching on the big oh, boy TV. Oh, hell yeah. I'm I'm watching the uh, um, my HD antenna. HD. Kind of like I'm saying HD, like HD TV. It's not an HD TV antenna. Hey, look! Look who's here. Hey, we just did three. Yeah. Hey. I got another car. Jalen smashed the three. See, if Villanova yeah. keeps missing every shot they take, we're gonna be fine. Not if they keep getting offensive rebounds on every shot they miss. Oh, Jesus. Grab the damn ball. Those few people can. Like on the internet? Yeah, there's like five people yeah. watching. Like watching us? Yeah. They are watching us in, instead of watching there's UConn basketball, which is actually You're probably a smart thing. Yeah, I said on the podcast I would wear it, so I'm wearing it. Let me just say that it is extremely hot in this thing. <laughs> I am sweating profusely. It's actually pretty warm today in Connecticut. It is. It is. It's like it was like fifty outside. Oh, yeah. Small yeah. cat here. Hi, small cat. Dog. Small cat looking like a literal snack. <laughs> <laughs> you see, if you're watching, the joke is that we always talk about Megan and how she should eat her cats. Because I never would eat my cats because they're really very nice, cute, and cats. And the cats. We don't eat cats. We don't eat cats here. Oh, even if the cat was a jerk, I wouldn't eat it. I think we should leave this up to the, the viewers. If you think that Megan should eat the cat, text yes to 65523. Or just say yes in the chat. Tyler says eat the cat. <laughs> Tyler's not going to vote. Tyler has a very strange fixation with eating the cat. New twist. The big cat will one how do we have other people watching and they're not participating in this discussion? Yeah, Reveal Free yourselves. Letters. All right, Chris does eat the cat. How, why? Who is watching? Who's watching this? Are you watching this? Do something better. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm sure we're more entertaining than. I should say the Raptors, but we're not. We're definitely not more entertaining than. No. Joe D told me that there was like an egregious travel that they didn't call. Uh, uh, there was one kind of. There, kind the of. Four gloves and three. He said there was a travel on the baseline. Yeah, that was, that was probably the one we mentioned. I don't think they actually gave the officials whistles today because there were some like insane collisions and. Mad scrambles and nothing was ever called. The towel ran somebody over too. Yes, yes, he did. Yes. Yeah, he just smashed into him. It was like, oh, that's gonna hurt later. Villanova's two for twelve. 
<laughs> Kenneth Buck says Andy Katz. A Ferrari from Enterprise. <laughs> I'll eat my hat. Oh, hold on, hold on. Ed is saying that Whaley um, had some words for some Villanova players during the timeout. Oh, he should, cool, cool. He Gilbert should and Fox and both uh, settled him down. Gilbert and Fox. Because we're going to lose by 30 now. Team leader, Christian Foxen. Love it. I will say for for a UConn team that is so bad, they talk a lot of shit. Well, that's kind of actually how it works, right? Like, how much shit did the ninety nine team talk? Other than Khalid. Yeah, I was gonna say that's true. And Khalid wasn't really talking shit; he was just talking. <laughs> Except when he was yelling at the kid student section. <laughs> they deserved. They deserved it. They, they said deserved racist. It. Yeah. Real nasty. Racist. Shockingly, yeah. the student section said racist stuff to a Muslim. Oh. That's. Really surprising. Remember when that guy, I think, for Fairfield threw that punch at Rip? Yep. <laughs> no, I don't remember that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was it was that season and it was against Fairfield. I guess if I were playing for Fairfield, I'd want to punch people too. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to win the game. You might as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Large Dave whoa, getting whoa, physical. Whoa, whoa. I mean, we did say if Large Dave could just throw people to the floor, that really is... Best thing Tyler says this lineup is violence. I will say, like, oh, I if, agree. If this game gets really shitty, I would not be disappointed if they just beat up Villanova. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you I'm know, okay with I, that. watching day large Dave beating up some people would be pretty fun. Mm -hmm. You bet Cobb's not there because they would make quite a Bash Brothers team. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Carlton's just going to be like, he won't be able to hit anybody. He'll be like just swinging wildly. He doesn't have that kind of coordination. Right. Yeah. Hey, a rebound. Woo. I think we're about to get a rebound. All looking up now. Yep. Now, will we get our first good shot of the game? You're about yes. two and a half seconds ahead of us. Yeah. That was that was Antoine Anderson. No Antoine Anderson shot yes. is a good shot. That's a fair point. Jesus Christ, Antoine Anderson. You know, it's funny because like you saying that, like I knew he was gonna miss before I saw him miss, but I already kind of did. <laughs> so this lineup right now is Anderson, Adora, <laughs> Polly, Adams, and Larrier. This is violence. This that is, is violence. Villanova well, has taken eight threes already. Because they have 17 offensive rebounds. See, I didn't even ask for the half round when you brought the half round. Well, you also didn't. You just like, give me a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Like, well, I was going to get something else. Come on, son. We should have more Antoine Anderson shots. Oh, I think it's so bad. Why is he playing? For who else is going to play? I don't know. Literally anyone. Who? Adam and Vital need to play 40 minutes in this game. Yes, Jalen and Vital. And that Wayne. does not look like it should be UConn's ball. I guess Larry. No Seven way. Seven overall offensive rebounds. Wow. Hey, we're only down three, despite that. Yeah. We've, we're six and a half minutes into the game, and it's 8 5. Like, this is ludicrous. This is UConn basketball. <laughs> Which is really ugly. Built four banners. I hate that hashtag. It's so awful. It's so, so bad. It's, it wouldn't be as bad if UConn wasn't horrible. If we weren't about to be 10 and 11 in like two weeks? Yeah. Well, let's keep in mind, it doesn't say what those banners say. It could say, <laughs> biggest disappointment. <laughs> it's true. Does you kind of have any idea the shot clock's winding down? They don't, as a matter Apparently of fact. Not. Jeez. Their home crowd. Apparently not letting know. There we oh, oh. Hey, at least you oh. hit rim. No, come on, my dude. All right, wait. Who's waiting for me? Is that the tall and Whaley waiting to come back in? All right. 
Now I can hear it on your screen before I can see it on here. That doesn't make sense. Mark is a via the antenna. Is this is a via the antenna. Everybody mm -hmm. is bad. I know. Do you want me to mute my TV? No. Yes. Yes. Peter wants right. to mute. Okay. To find my remote. Can you hear my TV? Is that also? I don't know whose TV I hear. I just muted I, mine. I muted Why mine. Oh. This is going to be fun, guys. No. We all knew what we were getting into. I don't, how did I get into this? I just was like, told, we're live potting the ugliest game of the year. Well, the one where we're going to get beat. Oh, it's already 12 5. They're going to win 84 to 5. <laughs> you guys aren't going to score any more points for the rest of this game. I could see it. I could see it too. 8 0 run for Villanova in two minutes. Cool. Well, the good news is we can just like, I can put a UConn Husky <laughs> Games thing on my. Uh, coincided with putting in. And I, how did that happen? And Large Dave. Yeah, Polly. Hey. Well, that, that was a good thing. What if, as soon as Villanova goes up by thirty-five, we instead turn on the uh, twenty fourteen Villanova game? I think that's a fantastic idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. You want to live pod that? that I think that would be a lot better. Yeah. I um. They posted it on Instagram. Baz's last shot. I watched it like ten times in a row this morning. Just because, like, I felt like I was yeah. going to do that to carry me through the day. It was very important to me. Tyler says, "Hard to believe the no offense lineup didn't score any points." Wow. Or do anything of use. Large Dave threw a guy on the ground. That's true. Yep. It was an important factor. That was the throw the guy on the ground lineup. It's possible to have a lineup like that that's not totally inept, though. We've done it in the past. True. Yeah, but it's not possible on this team. No, that's true. Oh, God. How are you that bad at shooting? you got to make that shot, my dude. you got to at least get near the basket. Oh. See, they can hit shots. That must be nice. Yeah. Remember what it was like when guys on our team took shots and they went in? You know I miss? Ben Gordon. Mm -hmm. I miss him, too. I miss Kemba Walker. If we could take all of the really good players we used to have. Oh, that was a nice move. Sorry. Hey, Carl. like... That crowd looks so badly like they want to like cheer. Mm -hmm. God bless UConn fans. They are terrible a lot of the time, but they are terrible almost all of the time. <laughs> but like when they sense that something hey, good hey, might hey. happen, they're ready. They're ready for oh, it. Hey. I blame UConn, UConn fans being terrible. Whoa! Ooh. Oh, that should have been an intentional. Yep. All right, let's see it again here. I don't ah, think so. That's just a hard I think that's a reasonable attempt at the ball. He, that is not an attempt at the ball. Smack him in the head. Get the hell out of here. Literally smack him in the head. No. He, he just just a hard foul. In the head. That was he, on purpose. Don't try and tell me he thought he might get the ball on that. I can't tell you what's in his mind. I just don't think that was an intentional foul. That was that sounds like you're telling me that you know what his intentions were, which is what you think was in his mind. So hypocrite. Um, <laughs> by the way, oh, at I, least at least we are not Iowa, who is losing to Purdue twenty four to six right now. Yeah, but Iowa's in the Big Twelve, so Big Ten. Ten. Iowa State's in the Big Twelve, though. Yeah. Yeah. Why seltzer of the regular or alcoholic variety? Not too great. Houston is up 14 to 7 on Wichita State. What's happened? What? For Wichita State. I don't they know. Good when they played us. Well, were they? 
they, were they, yeah, they were not. Everybody's good when they play us. If they play like that in all 18 <laughs> games, they will lose. Last like was it five minutes of that game, we looked like we could play basketball, so maybe they are that good. Possible it's good when they played us. <laughs> I have those little cans, and I also have some pomegranate seltzer. Pomegranate? Yeah. What are in the cans? It's, like it's the unicorn one and the mermaid. One's like a fruit punch and one's like a berry. Are they like really flavored or just like a little? No, they're really flavored. Uh, I'll just do pomegranate. Okay. I'll do pomegranate too. Yeah. Fuck you. You get nothing. Gorilla. No pomegranate for you, Russ. You can have banana. Oh, I'm not. No. Boo and Baz mom gave D-Row a standing O because it's his birthday. I didn't get a standing O on my birthday. Isn't everyone always standing to you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Although, Meacham is not much taller than me. Meacham, how tall are you? 5'7". So you're a foot taller than him. <laughs> Meacham is an inch taller than me. You're five six. I'm five six. In U.S. Imperial, <laughs> that's not like decameters, right? <laughs> I'm not that short. By the Byzantine Imperial standard, he is seven foot nine. That is true. Didn't make a lot of Ru sense. Russ is six eight. Says Chris. That is the um, the running joke in the mid major madness. Slack is that I'm six eight. Sounds like a great joke. You have to be there, really. Do I? I'm fine in being an only one Slack with you. <laughs> I think we should use timeouts today to painfully explain all of our inside jokes. That's a great idea. I think that is the content that people are craving. I think that Speaking of make sure of, who called me. Speaking of short people, the camera just got Gavin Keith craning his neck to see over the guy in front of him. I imagine people are not aware of how much time we spend in a Slack talking to each other. It's like weird it's, and it's all day. Every weekday at least. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's true. And it's rarely, if ever, anything of substance. Let's be honest. It's a lot of sports, dogs, some politics. We do talk about that. That's it, basically. And then yeah, like, that's basically it. Random, random shit. Food. We do talk a lot about food too. We talk about food. We talk about you eating your cats. Yep. We talk about the members of UConn Twitter that we hate. We do yep. talk about yep. shit. I assume they are all watching this right now. Yep. So if I just start talking shit about them, Tyler can't edit it out. No. Nope. Right. It's just in the world. Which members of UConn That's Twitter do I think are racists? <laughs> That's a lot of them. Most of them. Although I said that on Twitter once and people did not uh, people did not like it. Yeah, that's because they don't like being called racists. Racists right. think that. Uh-oh. Listen, when you say that the problem with Kevin Ollie is that he's trying to be boys with his players. Did they spell boys with a Z? No. Does that make it not racist? Uh, it makes it double racist, I think. Yeah. I don't know. If you've ever used the word Kevin Ollie and Hennessy in the sentence at the same <laughs> time, you're probably a racist. Jesus, get a rebound. What about the sentence, watching a Kevin Ollie team makes me want to drink lots of Hennessy? Racist. Do you want to drink Hennessy? Not really. <laughs> so then it's a lie, at least. And that is a lie to God. <laughs> That's a travel. That's a travel. Yep. Wow, he traveled at least twice. Yeah. Not calling that a travel is a lie to God. <laughs> it's a lie to God. There's a hole in my leggings and I don't like it. Well, I'm not getting involved with that. Just a little tiny one. I don't care. But oh, we're also, mom's making roast beef tomorrow at 1.30 for Rachel's birthday. 
Okay. You're invited. Uh, I'm not sure that's going to happen. Yeah. If Carlton was good, he'd be a lot of fun. Free steak. Like, I got to make my food for you tomorrow. Maybe. We'll see. <coughs> see what happens. That's UConn ball. Eleven. <laughs> that was extremely a travel. Eleven points. This is very troubling. Wow, he really took a lot of steps. How did they not call that a travel? Because like, they're I just not I calling don't... travels today. Free travel day. I'll fucking take advantage of that. Just hold it's the ball and run. Ways, you know that. Who are the refs in this game? Anybody we know? It they're bad. Three no name guys. Adolf Hitler, <laughs> and Ghost of Stalin, Porter, and Ghost of Raleigh Massimino. Ghost of Raleigh Massimino. <laughs> well, nobody knows. What hey, they got a carry. <laughs> and then Jalen tried to take the ball from him. Oh, Jalen Brunson looks like he's aged about 30 years in the time he's been at Villanova. I assume he's 45. Like, isn't he? I feel like everybody who goes to Villanova plays for, there for nine years. Like, how long was Scotty Reynolds there? 47 years. I mean, it feels like that because he was a freshman when he scored 40 on us. But we won that game. We did? We, we did not win that game. We did not win that game. Oh, I'm thinking of the guy from Oklahoma. Who was the little guy in Oklahoma? Lavender. He scored 40? In the, we scored a bunch of points, but we beat the shit out of them anyway because that was the year after all of their good players graduated. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. no, they, they were garbage that year, and UConn won the national championship. Hmm. Hmm. Well, thank you, Mike Rutherford. Every UConn offensive possession, too much dribbling, bad shot, yell at each other. It's not going great. Welcome to UConn basketball in the last three, four years. Welcome to the resistance. It doesn't work. That is not the resistance. <laughs> <laughs> if you, like, if I went out to Taco Bell and got food and, like, put it down on the table, went to get napkins and came back, and somebody had eaten it, I wouldn't throw my napkin in the air and walk away. I would murder that person. <laughs> You get off. No jury would convict. Can I ask what you're talking about? The t that Taco Bell commercial where that it's like, I don't know what the hell they're saying. Like that girl's eating like the taco box. And then it's like, it's so great. Except for the person whose food it was. And then the, like some guy, a black guy. She stole it from a black person. Because that's what white people do. They steal things from black people. It's white feminism. Sorry. All right. You can make that joke. I can make that joke, actually. I'm the only one of us who can make that joke. Uh, UConn has four made field goals. Seems high. You think Villanova's six of 24. Yeah. Otherwise, we might lose this game. <laughs> like, I love this brick montage they're showing right now. And they're still going to run us out of the building. Well, they're shooting 25%. We're shooting 22 And, and when you... They're and when you, some rebounds. Yes. But, like, our average shooting percentage, like, Villanova is, like, 40-something, and UConn's is 22. So this is not going to get that, better, uh, I don't think. That is noted UConn fan, young Aaron Sorkin, behind Bill Raftery right now. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> All right, I need them to show more Raffrey because I need to see that guy like 10 more times. That guy's like the insurance agent version of Chris Paul version of Aaron Sorkin. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a good idea. Yeah. At least you kind of didn't take a bad shot on that possession. Oh. 
too bad everyone on our team has garbage hands and can't shoot or dribble or penetrate or play defense or rebound. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Are you, are you kidding me, Diara? What the? Oh, are you, are you kidding? Go. Okay. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to get a lot oh, worse. Oh. Hey! Oh. Just have to wait a couple seconds for you guys to see it. <laughs> Do you want to pause our TVs for five seconds? So we can no. Get no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's like, fuck you guys. I would think we should, we're on an antenna. Yeah, like, I'm on an antenna. Be... Like, it's the fastest of them all. So I should be probably closer to like, it's being broadcast from the oh, That's so their servers. Which is weird, considering we are, you know, like 20 miles from where this is happening. Not even. Nothing makes sense in the world anymore. Nope. Literally nothing. <laughs> Sorry, Tyler. Tyler is saying things in Slack that I'm I i can not repeat to the people in this pod. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Put the ball up the court. Guys, guys. Wow. Fucking Jesus, what are you doing? That is a tweet. Yep. Hey. Hey, you count's only down five. I mean, I was certainly expecting worse. Which I feel like is what this team does to me. It's like I go into a game and I'm so prepared to be like, this is fuck everything. Like everything's gonna be fucking terrible. And then they get my hopes up for like three games in a row. I'm like, hey, maybe shit's not that bad and we're like all gonna be fine. And then Memphis happens and then they're trash again. <laughs> and you said maybe they'll be fine literally as my TV was showing Villanova hit a three. And then that's what happens. So like they just like just give you enough. It's like the most dysfunctional, like emotionally abusive relationship where they like just give you enough to keep you around, but then like crush you the moment you start to feel like things are gonna be okay. Not that I've ever had one of those relationships. At me next time, Megan. <laughs> That's probably a foul, yeah. Yeah. Oh, fun, fun. Whoa. Throw some punches. That's the same way Hashim Thabit got trucked by yeah. uh, Dewan Bear. <laughs> is that how is that a foul on Diara? That's crazy. That's crazy. He was reaching in. Was Diara he was dragged to the ground. He his arm while he was rebounding the ball. How are more people watching this right now than there were ten minutes ago? <laughs> Well, it's not like they're watching the game very intently. That's true. If you were watching this game, wouldn't you want us to be making fun of it for you? Yeah. That's a foul on the Italian I'm not guy. Like it. Yep. You see, we're doing UConn fans a service right now. We're showing them how to make fun of UConn without not, without also being racist. Yes. It's an important service we're doing for the people. Oh, look, Ryan Archie Diacono is in the game. Speaking of being racist. <laughs> <laughs> I actually almost made a, why do they always have an Italian guy joke earlier? I didn't even know that there was another one. They replaced DiVincenzo with Gillespie. Like, that's... <laughs> they have an abundanza of Italian players. <laughs> So cultural, Meech. I've, I've learned a little bit in my time. You can't tell me that number two is not Ryan Archie Diacono. <laughs> nope, he sucks. He, he definitely is not Ryan Archie Diacono. All right. I really dislike the gray uniforms. I would like to go on yeah, record. I'm firmly anti. I'm over the grays. I'm over it. They're not our color. It's blue, white. Accent red, nothing else. This gray shit. 
played out. It's got to go. Discussion in the chat. Kevin Ollie looks like Eddie Murphy. What do we think? That's racist. <laughs> Saying black guy looks like other black guy isn't necessarily racist. I do not think he looks like Eddie Murphy. What the hell was that shot? It's the, oh. I hope they call a foul shot, I'm pretty sure. Carlton doing a little dance. Can't find the ball. Oh, and then. <laughs> <laughs> that whole sequence was UConn basketball in a nutshell. From the lob to uh, the attempted response at it. Why is that an out of bounds enough and not a blocking foul? Man, they're not calling fouls today. No. That's well, that's news for Josh Carlton. <laughs> <laughs> That is a great example of like what a good team looks like versus what a bad team, like on consecutive yeah. possessions. Yeah. A UConn great totally Chris Smith says this could be a signature win for UConn. Totally out of control. Even the basket. That's the thing shot. about signature wins is that they are signature because they probably aren't going to happen. <laughs> and if they do happen, it's because the team that gets that win is good. Which I mean, UConn like, is not. That was... You play. You were trying to run. Got the open shot, but you front runs it. Like what? Why is Antoine Anderson ever in the game? Oh great! Oh god! See, all I, can, I just see him dribbling. It's like, oh, what's he about to do? But do something terrible. Hey, we're... Okay. Jesus, Larry. Why is Larry ever dribble? Okay, that's a travel. Yeah, I guess after the fifth step, maybe he got bombed. <laughs> so uh, it's 26 tw 16 with three and a half left. What is going to be the halftime lead for Villanova? 22. 12. I'm going to say. Yeah, probably 12. I'm going to say it's going to be. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say like 11 or 12, but yeah, 12. Well, I I'm saying 17. Wow. Okay. Chris Monroe, new Chris in the chat, says, Hi Chris. "Hi, Chris. Watching you guys speak directly to how garbage this team plays feels more honest than listening to Raftery politely try to talk around how one of these teams is barely there." Oh, well, UConn is there. I don't think I mean, that's the problem. Located in the XL Center right now. They no, are. I mean, like they're the trying hard. Of the counter, so the phrase or the idiom that. You know, half of everything in life is just showing up because they are not doing half of everything right now. No. So, like, when I think of a team Stops. barely being there, I think of how UConn played against Memphis. This is not that game. Like, UConn's just not as good as Villanova or even close to it. And that is why they're down 10 points. Yeah, I guess that's true. But, like... I guess I just can't help not uh, assigning like a moral failing to being bad at basketball. I mean, I especially in this sort of way, we're just like constantly fucking up. Like yeah. you can't not piss the ball away over and over and over again. You take bad shots when you have open looks. You just can't even come close. But what they, are they practicing? It feels like they dribble off their feet or the other team like half the time up the floor, which is like how it reminds me of watching my awful JV high school team that I that I coach. It's like I can't count them to, to understand anything. But like those kids have an excuse. They're stupid. <laughs> and they have a terrible coach, to be fair. <laughs> but like they're, you know. No. But on the other hand, so do these guys, I guess. Mm. Kevin Ollie is a better basketball coach than I am, but by less than he should be. <laughs> Yikes, but also. I'm petting small cat. I'm not just like randomly like showing my hand off camera. Small cat is insisting. I, I, that's what I'm doing, though. <laughs> 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 I don't have a cat to my left. Oh, Tyler's back. Tyler. <laughs> the 
Seems like the Wi Fi is really good though. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like there is no crowd wow. noise whatsoever. <laughs> Tyler's avatar briefly being uh, his screen showing Russ in a gorilla suit. <laughs> it's my favorite thing that's happened so far in this game. That's the best thing that's happened in the XL Center today. Wow. <laughs> Probably. I didn't know that they were going to be able to see us. Yep. Yep. Problem. Because you're ugly? Yes, because I'm ugly. That was going to be the problem I said. I didn't know they were going to be able to see Russ. Oh. <laughs> because I'm ugly. <laughs> and also other things that are bad, but oh, no. mostly ugly. Just say Jew. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're thinking it. Why do we need an editor? Is because we say horrible things sometimes. Reminder yeah. that Russ not a Jew. This is why we have lost podcasts. Yeah. There's an entire there's an entire lost podcast. Like we recorded yeah. one. But then like Tyler kind of just didn't edit it and then after like three days it was like completely not timely anymore. I still think we should just put it out there and like be like, here guys, totally irrelevant. It needs to be edited first. Wow, forty five sixteen the Purdue Iowa game is. Wow, how is he been up Purdue, Purdue's pretty good. seven points? At what Ah, Villanova's starting to heat up. Hey, it's at 12 points. So. Good. Got another two and a half minutes to get it up to. Um, Nietzsche, what'd you say, 17? Yep. I'm going to be really annoyed when you undersold it. <laughs> oh, it could easily be 20. They uh, hit look a at all that here. dribbling Antoine Anderson can do. Good for him. Oh, fuck. What was the call? Palming, I think. Oh. <laughs> okay. That was a nice play. That will that be was. on. That will be on the season highlight tape, which will be forty-two seconds long. Season highlight tape will be a gift. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler is saying more inappropriate things in the Slack right now. I submit that at the end of this season, TCF will still be able to make a highlight video that. Makes you feel pretty good. There'll be some rap music. It'll be nice. A lot of dunks against uh, that Division Two team that we beat like a hundred to fifty. Yeah, th there there was no Division One team that we blew out this year. <laughs> Man, this is gonna get ugly real fast. Oh God! Oh God! It's a casual twelve-two run. Now, my question is, where are you going to get a blender that big? <laughs> and cut them up into small pieces. Yeah, nice out-of-rhythm shot. Got blocked, of course. Oh, Jesus. This oh, is... they have uh, families. Oh, oh and this is oh. going to be... And they... Well, that wasn't so bad. Well, hey, it's 17. 17. With a minute nine left. Hey, I might still win this at 22. Really, uh, really glad that Ollie got that timeout in. That really should stop the run, I think. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Things are going to be great for this last minute and nine seconds. It's going to be really fun when we immediately turn the ball over. <laughs> He's going to call a timeout. He's going to set up a play. Villanova's going to have the ball back within 11 seconds. Yeah. And we will not have scored. Apparently, the crowd is billing. Good. Yeah. The crowd is what? Booing. Good. Boo. Boo the coach. Don't boo the guys. Yes. They're... It's not their fault that they had never played basketball before this year. God, it's just, oh. Like, we used to be a good basketball team. Like, you guys used to be a good basketball team. We used to be the best. There were times where we were the best. Yeah. There were. Yeah basketball team in the country. There was a decent like five year stretch around when I was in college when we were like one of the best teams in the country every year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And at least one of those years, at least one, we were the best team in the country. 
So what you're saying is, Villanova, this is what you have to look forward to. Right. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He should. What did I say? How long, how long did they have? I, I forgot to count how many seconds about, they were turning it about, over. About 15 seconds. Oh, well. I was close. Yes. Wow. Wow. Like, it's so bad that I can just be as negative as you can be and be right constantly. Or when you're wrong, it's because you're not negative enough. <laughs> Another rebound. Well, wait, if he hits this three, oh, that's God. 22. And Larrier's on the floor. Larrier was dead on the floor for a minute, but he got up. Great. It's great. Okay, let's call this time out. Draw something up. Remember how bad the team was in 96, 97? And they no. couldn't beat anybody in the league, and it was humiliating. That team would beat the shit out of this team. That team got to the final four of the NIT. That's true. This team's not getting into the CIT. They could if they paid, if they wanted to pay for it. CIT doesn't let in teams from uh, major conferences, though. Right. How does that affect you? Policy. Like, who, who said, you know what we don't want? Popular teams with large followings. That would it's disrupt our five. tournament run by College Insider. But why would they say we're not going to like? What's I don't understand. I, because it's four mid majors. Okay. I don't know. Again, I, I don't see how that affects UConn. That, yeah, we get the joke, Meacham. <sighs> not, not joking. Okay. It's, I mean, that's real. Where? Yeah, I is, think my next beverage is going to be a boozy seltzer, just for the record. Yeah, this coffee's not doing the uh, not doing the trick anymore. Mm, 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 mm. You should try uh, drugs like heroin. Have you heard about opiates? Ah, <laughs> oh, right. That was the easiest looking shot I've ever seen. <laughs> I wish I could see was Villanova. Twenty one. 21 points. I was closest. I said 22. Eight. Yeah. And I I meant 12 when I said it. So. 18. 18 points. Yeah. 18. Oh. So, yeah. Um, uh, so. What was the score when we had that conversation about what was the halftime? It was 26-16. So it was 13-2 uh, to two since that, that point. Are we really going to do this for the whole game? Well, I think that I just heard someone at Meacham's door. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brian Koffel's watching. Oh. Hey. Koffel. Hey, Koffel. Uh, Jane, his daughter, likes Small Cat. Oh. oh. She's very adorable. Small Cat um, is a rescue. It's a little, a little plug for... Kenway's Cause, which saves animals in Hartford. She was literally abandoned in the garbage in Riverfront Park in Hartford. Um, See, would you guys eat a cat out of the garbage? Yep, no, but you've been washed. They, they called animal control and was like, oh, there's a hurt cat in the garbage. But she wasn't hurt. They just like literally left her in the trash. And then anyway, the lovely animal control officer there um, saved her and gave her to the rescue. And they like got her to a vet, and now she lives in my house and is the most spoiled animal in the world. True story. So are we going to give the people what they want? Are we going to give them David I, Bennett? I think we have to give the people what they want. I don't know how, I don't know how to do this since I'm on camera now. <laughs> I told you, you need to get a bowler hat and a fake mustache. This is what we need. You guys are giving it away. Everyone's going to know now. Magic is going on. Hold. To do it off camera. Turn off the camera. Nobody can see it. No. Uh, everybody who's not part of the podcast, plug your ears for a second. Okay, Meech, draw a little mustache on your finger. I think. <laughs> Problem solved. Okay, everybody can start listening again. They'll never know. They'll never know that I said that. Because they're not, they're all sitting in a like this. They're never going to take their fingers out of their ears. Mitchum, do you have a visitor? 
Oh, wait. Oh, something's happening off camera. I don't know. This is going to be a surprise for all of He's us. It's going to show up here now. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> What's happening right now? I don't know. What's we each doing? I don't understand. Yeah, Meacham, where are you? Where'd you go? David. Hello. Did he mute himself too? <laughs> What's going on? This is about to be way more elaborate than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> See, what's funny is like the podcasts that we put on the internet tend to be like, they seem like they might be polished or like we know what we're doing, but this is actually. I don't think it ever seems polished. It's like. It's just Tyler reassembling garbage. Yeah, he's really good at it. Like, props to him. I don't know. I would murder him. Change this shirt. You're not committed to the character. That Meacham's girlfriend. I think that's sister. girlfriend, yeah. My girlfriend who clearly doesn't know she's on the internet. And is upset about the shirt that he's wearing. Okay. This is going to be really good, I think. He must. I bet he left and put on a disguise. I think that's what he did. I hope so. I mean, he went to get David Benedict Cumberbatch, who was waiting outside. He probably had to buzz him in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's what it was. And then buzz. the buzz he had to go down. And oh, he just buzzed. Oh, oh, have you returned? Oh, hello. Is anybody out there? Hey. Hello. Hey. Hi, David. Well, hello. <laughs> 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 it's, it is absolutely a pleasure to join you on this a dime back live stream. <laughs> oh, look, it's David Bennett at Cumberbatch. Hello. David, welcome. Thank you for having me. It's it's absolute pleasure. I had to you know duck out after uh, halftime. I'm up in Hartford today, uh, but it's it's terrific to join you. Mm. And are you enjoying the game today, David? Uh, no, no, it's it's been uh, utter bollocks. But uh, uh, what, are you, what are you gonna do? We're making our money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, David Bennett Cumberbatch, can you tell us uh, what's going on with Kevin Ollie? Uh, well, things are not going great. Uh, you have to remember that, of course, all the the players left and they all transferred. Uh, in the same way that you know the the teams are transferring from famous clubs like Arsenal or Liverpool or Cambridge United, um, but you know things are not going well. It's uh, it's it's rough, but I stand behind him uh, until somebody gives me a ten million dollar check. <laughs> that seems reasonable. That we'll seems uh, start the crowdfunding now. Awful! I know you're making good money. <laughs> Uh, if Mike Melio's listening, maybe. He might actually be listening. <laughs> or he might be at the game. That's true. He probably is actually he's probably at the game. Luke Swanson <laughs> says, hey, y'all. Scaring this to watch later. Well, Boo's there. Basmon's there. It's, it's a happen. It's a happening crowd. Uh, David, if I wanted to get something to eat after the game, where should I go? Well, if assuming you have uh, not imbibed the improper amount of fluids, you could drive to Plainville, Connecticut. And you could go to J. Timothy's Tavern, which of course is a sponsor of your wonderful podcast that uh, occasionally includes Russ and his friends. <laughs> his, when, it, when have his friends been on here? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to meet any of them. <laughs> that, that's a capital joke. If anyone watching considers me a friend, please say so in the chat. Dead silence. <laughs> <laughs> they all, in fact, just closed out of it. Is there anyone? <laughs> we are or... losing viewers right now. Is there anybody there? No, that's that one I'm looking for. No, we're up to 15 people right now. Has <laughs> anybody actually commented? Oh. No. <laughs> oh, Luke Swanson just said, hey, y'all. Hey, Luke. Hey, Luke. What's, What's up, up, dude? What's up, pal? Uh, well, thank you for joining us, David Benedict Cumberbatch. We'll it's uh, absolute we'll pleasure. And soon to talk about literally anything but this basketball game. 
Yes, uh, I would recommend that everyone do the Men in Black thing with the the, the memory. Uh, yeah, just do that and Can uh, we do that to everyone and send everyone back to like twenty ten. We are working on that oh, technology. Yeah, this is totally still a thing, guys. Let's all stay there. We're we're working on the technology. We're pouring all of our resources into it and. Uh, we I do know there is a professor at UConn who's working on time travel. So there is. That should be his priority. Dude, bring, actually, really, what we need to do is we need to bring him back to when Dick Blumenthal decided to sue them and be like, actually, no. There are a number of important events that need to be changed. One, we should have joined Big East football in 91. Yep. Mm -hmm. Two, we should have let Penn State into the Big East. Yep. Mm -hmm. In 85, I think. Uh, something like that. It was, I think it was before that. Well, whenever it was. Whenever yeah. it was. Yeah, it was around yeah. that time. Um, Three. And we shouldn't have sued when those guys left. Oh, it's bad. Yeah. Bad, it's bad move. These bears. And also, we should never have hired that motherfucker Jeff Hathaway, who I would punt into the sun if I could. True. So, David Benedict Cumberbatch, let me know how that's working. We're working right. on it. <laughs> Making it happen. Ta ta. <laughs> Buy football tickets. Cheerio! I will do no such thing. <laughs> I'm so proud of us. You managed to get in our fake, fake J. Tim's commercial. It's a real J. Tim's commercial. It is a real J. Tim's We're commercial. Professional. We need to go to J. Tim's and eat their wings. We've been talking about this for a while. No, and like it's ridiculous. Russ, you gotta like give us some notice when you're gonna be in. We should have done this from J. Tim's. We should have. Well, we should just go and eat the food. Oh, my God. I bet you they would have given us free wings if we were like, we're going to broadcast this. So, I just, 15 Here's people. the thing. I will pay for my wings. I just want the wings, man. They're, they want to eat the wings. I won't pay for my wings, but I would like them. I'm just saying, if we had said, we want to come, we want to do a live podcast during the game, they would have let us do that, and they would have given us free food. I guarantee you. Listen, I don't want to because they know we're whores and we tell everyone how good it is. Because one, it actually is good. Yes. Two, I have no ethics. We will shill pretty much anything if you pay us. Yeah, if, if you're watching right now us. and you make some sort of product, send it to us and we will shill it. Like, especially if we can eat it or drink it. We like boost too. Both options. For example, Either remember one. when those guys sent us that free championship cereal? I ate that. Yeah. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We don't care. We I don't, don't even care. remember if it was delicious, but in my heart, it, it was. It was Honey Nut Cheerios, basically. That's right, and I love Honey Nut right. Cheerios. Yeah. yeah. Except and they I still were have the box. You know Ariama on them. And they were free. Free. Everything's delicious when it's free. But J. Tams is delicious even when you pay for it. Fast. Hey, guys. Uh, I had hey. to step out for a minute. Did I miss anything? Oh, yeah. Hey, welcome back. Yeah, welcome back, Meacham. So weird how you always miss David Bennett and Cumberbatch. That's how that happens. Also, we could hear your girlfriend making fun of your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Which yeah. I would have assumed anyway, but. That, uh, that was actually me and David talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It always makes me laugh. This is like, I'm the Jimmy Fallon of this group. I can't hold it together. I just crack up the whole time. Meacham, what's your girlfriend's name? Lisa Marie. Lisa Marie Meacham. <laughs> Lisa Lurie. I, I, should, I should start calling her that, yeah. I'll bet she'd really like that. Yeah, she'll definitely think that's great. <laughs> they can hear everything you say. <laughs> Why did you say my name? Yeah, somewhere. He's talking to her. He's muted us so he can talk yeah. to her. I don't know. Meacham, tell your girlfriend you love her. Oh, here we go. Tell your girlfriend Peter loves her. <laughs> I did while the mic was off. This is not uh, this is not for public consumption. Was that Big Ron? He keeps muting it when she's talking to him so that we can't make fun of him for what she says because it's something that we would make fun of. You know what though? Good on you, Meech. That's appropriate boyfriend behavior. I approve. I'm being smart here. Pragmatic. Well, man. I wouldn't I wouldn't expose I would not want to be exposed to this 
fucking bunch of idiots. So <laughs> you really think we're idiots? Says the man in the gorilla onesie. <laughs> That is a great. That is a great goddamn onesie. I will say. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. it's really good. Do you want them in a glass, or do you just want them? You got them with the glasses from Abby's, by the way. He's dope. They are. They are very stylish. And they're also great. She was very hip. We had a grandmother type person who was like, she should have been like a Williamsburg Bohemian. But she lived in Fairfield County instead. But like in her heart, she was very cool. Not like anyone in Fairfield County. Was she Rosa Delora? <laughs> I don't know. Yes. Guys, we're drinking alcohol. Uh -uh. Mermaid on it. Can you see this, or is it like all washed out, mermaid? It's washed out. Uh, you can see a little bit. Uh, Kenneth Buck says, "Can we talk about your painting?" What did you say? Can we talk about your painting? My painting? I assume it's the only painting that is. Um, it, it's a print. I don't know how much of it you can see. It is um like a path into a wooded area. I got it at a consignment store for like fifteen dollars. And I liked it next to my wall. Most of the art in my house I purchased either at like flea markets or consignment. I have a painting upstairs that I paid twenty dollars for that apparently is being sold on the internet for four hundred bucks. So I'm like, I just thought it was pretty. Why are other people selling your artwork? I it's, I do not do art. To be clear, I have no artistic talent whatsoever. I also don't actually like know anything about art. So when I see things I like, and I have you know holes on my wall well, that I want, I'm not like faces. Long hands back. If Jane's still watching, here's this cat. This small cat. Her name is actually Lulu, but whatever. Hey, I, that was my dog's name. I almost never call. You should her eat Lulu. your dog, Rose. <laughs> what? <laughs> that dog died a few months ago, actually. So, well, well then it's fine. Oh, that's even, even worse. I actually have a large cat somewhere, but he wants no part of this nonsense. I can't blame him. Black cat's kind of a flirt. She just like wants. To be oh, tied for the lowest in the half the season with, with the, the game. Game. Oh. So we're really we're making progress. That is just. Guys. Setting records for futility. I bet UConn wins this game. <laughs> I don't believe you. Could you define this game? Uh, the, the game one of one life. Me. Yes, that's okay. That's what I thought you were going for. Also, UConn is the alternate pronunciation for Villanova. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, Crystal Cotter, are you making shit up in the chat? What's going on? No. Taco Fall will undergo shoulder oh, yeah. surgery and miss the remainder of the season. Yep, that is a oh, thing. No. Oh. God. Oh, the one good thing about this conference. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> that real offensive rebounds thing is pretty funny. Good joke, Chris. No, I'm, like, legitimately sad. I, I was... Well, Oh, cool. That's fun. That was really fun. Let's definitely start the okay. second half by letting Villanova. It's, it's only 42 to 18. <laughs> should we should we do another uh, like prop bet? When will UConn get to 30 points? Um, In the next game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Like, who's the next game against? SMU, I think. All right. All right. SMU's Maybe. They're going to get to 30 points. With four minutes left. With with 11 minutes left. Does UConn hit 40? Yes. Yes. Mm, it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. Are they going to lose this game about 75 to 40? Yeah, that sounds about right. Yep. Yep. I feel, I feel like that's correct. Or it's going to get way worse. <laughs> 
How much worse could it get than 75? Why did you get 20? <laughs> <laughs> like, this is going to be a UConn women's basketball score, but like the wrong way. I know hey, hit that. Hey. that we all like understand the limitations of like human biology. I'll say this. I am less sure than I've ever been that it, the Yukon men would beat the Yukon women in a game. No. I'm still 100% sure. I don't know that the Yukon men could get bad enough that they would not just out athletic the women's team. Here's what I'm imagining now. Lou just bought They don't three. need they don't need anyone else to be good for them to just turn the ball over a lot. They don't need any like they they could lose to no one. That that's <laughs> what I believe at this point. It's true. And like, like the women's team shoots from three, especially if you were using a, like a women's ball, because obviously that would be like weird to try to be shooting threes with a different size ball, but like they can bomb threes. Like, can we also start a petition? Let's let's go one to one ball. I think everybody can handle a, a, a yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They should. And it's just a weird, annoying thing. Yeah, it's stupid. There's no really reason, good reason to do it. It's just like a slightly different size. Can we talk about how Jay Wright took a timeout? After UConn scored six straight points in a twenty-point game, wow! Yeah, that's because that's what coaches do. It's almost like he's a good coach. Do you think that he has like a stylist that like does him up before games? Yes, I bet so. He his name good. is his name is Bruno. One hundred percent, it's Bruno. Okay, because like me, she says that I'm like. Is it? This is, is a thing you real, know. Is it real? Because this seems like a I, thing you would have researched for some. Somehow you would have like read some obscure thing about Jay Wright's style as Bruno. I have well, tremendous gravitas when I speak. Tiger when beat I that. Speak, when I speak from knowledge or fake knowledge. Meacham, are you Bruno? <laughs> I am not Bruno. And sometimes you do drop the real knowledge, and you're like David Benedict Cumberbatch. Stuff like that shit you're talking about about Old York. I thought you made that up, and then somebody tweeted me that they like looked it up and were like, "No, that was real." <laughs> was oh real. no. That well, first of all, that's David's prerogative. That's really his uh, his base of knowledge. But right. now I, I come with one hundred percent facts all the time. <laughs> it's great, particularly the fact that Aaron Judge went to UConn. <laughs> that that is a true fact. It's one hundred percent true. That fact. is a true fact stated. <laughs> <laughs> Who could forget sitting on Horse Barn Hill when Aaron Judge would hit a home run from the baseball field to Horse Barn Hill? <laughs> What's happening right now? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Back in. Is there some illegality going on right now? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's not on camera, so it can't be, you know. Uh, yeah, Megan has had precisely four sips of alcohol and now can't be shown. <laughs> <laughs> I believe uh, it's now law that you cannot be a woman and be tipsy on camera or else yeah. you go to jail. So this is true. very <laughs> strong. Actually. Yeah, but there's a government shutdown, so everything's <laughs> legal now. It's true. <laughs> murder is legal. Everything's legal. Yeah. Birch. You can do literally anything right now. I've been doing a lot of murder today. <laughs> you could steal City Hall. <laughs> 100 points to anyone who gets that reference. I don't get that reference. I don't get that reference. I'm not surprised that you don't. We'll see if any of our fan knows it. Tyler's so sad about Taco Fall. Yeah, it was the one good thing in his life. He's so <laughs> sad. About this. Not his family, or oh well. Besides his like wife and kid. <laughs> I mean, Taco Fall was basically his son. Yep, it's true. Large adult rebounding son. Yeah, he's very, very, very large. Adult. Uh -oh. Great. I went to the. Um, I was at the oh, AAC. That's, oh, good. that's a good play. Cool. I went to the uh, AAC tournament last year, and Taco was playing in a game right before UConn, and I went early just so I could watch him play. And I was just like, "How? How is that a person? Like, it looks like you took a normal person and just kind of like stretched him out a little bit." 
Maybe they did. <laughs> very, it's very bizarre. They can do all yeah. sorts of stuff with science now. Hmm. Yeah, Taco Falls actually my height. Six eight. Yeah, six eight. Oh, Jeff Goodman just had one NBA guy. NBA guy tell me he didn't think that this UConn team could win any league in the country, including America East. Vermont has some Vermont good players. He said, UConn, "Yes." Hmm. I mean, UConn could win the SWAC, and UConn could win the MIAC. Maybe. No, I'm pretty confident. I don't, in that. I don't know. Coppin State took us down to the wire. I'm not saying any of those are gimmies. It's a truly putrid team. I mean, it's definitely the worst UConn team, at least since last year. <laughs> this last year's team would have crushed this team. Well, last year's team was pretty atrocious. At least we had like Purvis and Brian, though. Right. Like Purvis right. would be the second best player on this team. Brima would also be the second best player on this team. Mm-hmm. Last year's team was bad, but had excuses. Right. This team is just bad. Yeah. Like, they look like they don't have any coaches. Literally no coaches. Hey! hey! <laughs> that was an offensive rebound, guys. And then they got a basket. What? You don't think they can win the swack? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I looked it up. Right now we are 160 in Ken Palm. And here are the teams who finished 160th okay. the last, like, seven, eight years. Last year, number 160 was Tennessee State. Cool. cool. Good. I mean, normal. 2016 was Elon. Oh, cool. Oh, Great. Nice. Wow. All right. Mm -hmm. 2015 was Princeton. Hey, that's a good school. That's a school we've yeah, heard of. Uh, Bucknell was 2014. Okay. So, I know who that is. Ryder. That definitely exists. <laughs> I think Ryder that was 2013. Ryder. Danielle Marshall worked at Ryder. There you go. Great College. basketball. College of Charleston was 2012. I think they play basketball there. And Didn't we play them that year? 2012? Yeah, we might have. In, uh, the tournament where we lost to West Virginia. That was 2015. Oh, no, that was, a lot. That was 2015. Yeah. And 2011 was Nevada. So, to say a random UConn basketball box score. I'm sorry, I don't have random UConn box score. You can't say his name. The only one I know is 99 championship, 77, 74. You could have started with that That's one. That's it. That's literally like the only score I've ever memorized because memorizing scores is weird. Do you haven't memorized the other championship game scores? No. 82 Listen, to 73. I'm like Sherlock Holmes. Okay? The Mind Palace only has so much information. And I have to purge the unnecessary shit sometimes. Sherlock Holmes, if I remember correctly, had memorized like 170 different types of uh, cigarette ash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how good his priorities were. <laughs> There's no joke that I cannot make online. Oh, damn it! You just gotta cover the screen. <laughs> <laughs> cover the screen and say. They can still hear me. No, they can't. But Put it in the slack. Put it in the slack. Said it. Not gonna do it. Small cat. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just like half of what having a pet is, is being like, what are you eating? Where did that come from? No, seriously, what are you eating? No, it's gone now. Okay, well. What happened? I don't know. She was like eating, chewing on something. She's still doing it. What are you, what are you doing? It's something on the thing. Oh, it's that, there's like a piece of fuzz that she's trying to eat. It's, it doesn't matter. It's, a, it's a, like a piece of fuzz. No. You're, you're weird. You're I don't know. Weird. She's not going to like it. She's strange. She's so strange. She does strange things all the time. Yeah, like live in the garbage. But she didn't live in the garbage. That's what she Zagoria says UConn would win the NEC, so. Well, there's that. that. That's a thing. No, yay. God, everything is just so bad, so sad.
So I was really kind of hoping that Tennessee women's basketball was going to remain undefeated so that we could meet them in the national championship, both undefeated and then them. Yeah. But watching them piss that game away against Notre Dame was that hilarious. That was, like, was fucking crazy. That was insane. And awesome. it was Great. So Notre Dame and Tennessee women's basketball playing. Tennessee's still undefeated. They go into the last quarter up by like, uh, like they they led by twenty three in the second half. Yeah, and they, they lost in, by like eighteen. Yeah, it was like thirty five to ten or something in the last quarter. It was ridiculous. Nineteen. Something. Oh my something. god. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. That's what it takes to get a foul called in this game. <laughs> Look at this. Jesus. Carl that has is... no hops at all. No. Oh, yeah, he did. Cut him in the head. Puck him in the face. Yeah. It's like, hey, don't be so dumb, dude. Don't hit people. I was blocking the shot. Yeah, but then you hit him in the head like six times. <laughs> Wrap your arm around the guy's head. Oh. That's not an over. That's that is too serious. Whatever. What? That's what? a terrible call. What? I'm starting to think UConn's not going to win this game. Are you fucking kidding me? As soon as we get a foul call, he's got to make oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was okay. foul. He pushed off. That's a good call. Never mind. He pushed very hard. They never would have called that in the Big East game. <laughs> That's why UConn should be in the Big East. UConn should be in the Big East. Should we, though? Because, like... Uh, I'm not we, saying we win. With a new coach. Right. Yeah. If, if we were in the Big East again, we could get a good coach. This just isn't fair now. <laughs> God. Even... Oh, God. Oh, cool. Cool. Nice. Wow, Great. wow, wow, wow. Are we really going to watch this whole game? If fans oh, start throwing things out to the court, you kind of will have to forfeit. Maybe Ollie will resign like in the post-game press conference. Yeah. Elon Musk would have a better Ken Palm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really strange person to... To say, but sure. No, because we were talking Elon, about Elon. Elon was one of the teams. Oh, was Elon. okay. All right. Get it together, you fucking gorilla. Fuck you. <laughs> Banana head. Because you're a gorilla. Oh. Why do you have a gorilla onesie? Um, got it for Christmas. From whom? Uh, my cousins. Okay. We do like the pajama exchange every year on Christmas Eve. And this year we did onesies. All right. You would totally get some girl onesie. Don't even play. You would. I don't have a pajama exchange with anyone. Oh, yeah. No, we do that. His wife, as my bridesmaid gift, gave me an owl onesie. That's good. Yeah, it is. Snuggly. She bought different animals for everybody. Like, there was like a lemur. Panda. There was a panda. A shark, I think. And, and Megan is an owl because she's both wise and can turn her head all the way around. Correct. <laughs> yep. Is there really a 9-0 run or is it just they're winning? It's it's their winning. It's a 55 to 29 run. Like I think that might just be like they're going to score nine points in a row a lot. Wow, that's a nice finish. Now do 100 more like that. Mm-hmm. I think what's going to happen is UConn's going to get it under 20, and I don't think it might be okay. UConn's then... not getting this under 20. <laughs> they will not get this under 20 to any point. We haven't seen that three yet. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Like, their guys just dribble up and pull up for threes, and our guys can't hit threes in rhythm. This is what a good basketball team looks like. 
This is what we used to look like. Oh my god. God, Larry. -er. That's he's, uh, he's so nice. bad. How do you miss that? He's the worst good player I've ever seen. How do you miss that? Like that is shameful. That is shameful. Jesus. Like if you can't make threes in where they're like, what are you even doing? Like, what's even the point? We're gonna have to fold the team at the end of this year because like all these guys are gonna transfer. If this is just the most maudlin team I've ever seen, like everyone's miserable and awful and everything's constantly getting worse. People are fighting. What? This is a complete disaster. Like you'd never know that this man won a national championship two years ago. You'd never know that. Antoine Anderson just scored. Yeah, I mean it was bound to happen eventually. Just you know, it'll be in the season highlight. Yes. Floor every game. Ooh. Hey. All that. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it comes transition and what? Okay. Villanova is shooting sixty-four percent. Since That's starting great. five for twenty-two. That's really so fun. normal and cool. That's super good. It wasn't that long ago that we were like one of the best field goal percentage defense teams in the country every year. Yeah. Even like our mediocre teams were really good at that. From from the time Ken Palm started in O two until uh, this very year, we were top twenty in the country in two point defense every year, except for Ollie's first year. And that and includes last year. That includes, includes last year. the seventeen and fourteen season, two thousand seven. That includes, includes the, a few NIT teams. The boat senior year. Yeah. The Dyson year, the Dyson senior year. And that's the Dyson cool. national championship year. <laughs> you kind of should claim that championship. I think they should. All you see, USA. You see, yeah. I do it every time. I, every single time I get it wrong. Neither one of them matters. <laughs> one of those schools in Florida that is a directional school. <laughs> they should just merge UCFS. South Central. Would anyone notice? Florida South. They're pretty close. Yeah. It's not like, you know, just have two campuses because you're letting in everybody anyway. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, you kind of still very good at school. So we are. We have that going. We'll see how trying to hold on to football ruins that. It it will. And think if we got rid of football, we could have lacrosse, which is another fun sport, but it's much cheaper. And we can still play it after football is outlawed. And we'd be good at it. Like, we'd be a lot better at lacrosse than we are at football. That four point play will be on the, the highlight video. Yep. So many highlight plays today. People are going to be like, why are you showing me any clips from that Villanova game? I've been trying to block that out. Why would anyone watch any highlights of UConn ever again? Yeah, the Twitter is uh, lit, I guess. Just people right. calling calling it like, you know, UConn's an embarrassment, which, Pro. which is very true. Well, fuck just, you, you can't say that. That's our thing. <laughs> Nobody hits my little awful at basketball brother but me. Like, who's talking shit about us? Uh, Goodman said something. I think Gottlieb just wrote some stupid tweet. Hey, want to know what's an embarrassment, Gottlieb? When you fucking get caught stealing your roommate's credit card, you piece of shit. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, our, we're bad at basketball? You're a bad person. Mm. Goodman's ugly. <laughs> We're just gonna get personal here. 
But, but Cookman is also just trolling to troll. Like we know that. True. I mean, he's. Isn't it past Goodman's bedtime okay. in Lithuania? Right now? <laughs> I mean, if I had his job and a particular fan base interacted with me the way you gun fans interact with him, I all fans absolutely with him. would troll them. The he way. has an antagonistic relationship with like 70 fan bases. It's true. And honestly, like, I can't, I mean, well, I don't know. I'm not necessarily that antagonistic, but. UConn just has to be the happens to be the least relevant one. Ooh. We're certainly the one that's the easiest to make fun of right now. Yeah. Well, because it's just such a spectacular fall. Like if you consider the fact that UConn won a national championship in 2014. Like, and then also three years before that. So it's like, how is a team that won all the like won that the you know, How do you get this bad from that good this fast? Right, thank you. And it's it's really quite breathtaking. It's a good question. How do you have a top ten recruiting class one year and then a, a roster with this little talent the next season? When sixty percent of that class leaves or gets hurt, it's like he's a bad coach. Also, if also, if those parts don't like intersect in any meaningful way, they should have. Though, there's um, nothing about those guys that suggested that they shouldn't have been able to play together. Handle the ball, Gilbert. If you're bringing a class and Vital's the second best ball handler in that class, that's fine. Mm -hmm. He's a he's certainly a good enough ball handler to play shooting guard. You know, they brought in shooters, they they had brought in rebounders, they had a skilled big man coming in, and just everybody was as bad as they could have been or hurt, except for Vital. Whoa, whoa. Tyler's asking where the live pod is. Are we not live anymore? We're still live. We're still extremely live. Yeah, we're still here. I can see myself talking from several minutes ago. Man, that's very weird. Jeez. Hey, we're probably going to get to 40, so that's good. Don't count your chickens. We're going to get to 39, and then we're going to miss six straight free throws at the end of the game. <laughs> That was a great pass. Carlton is the one guy that makes me think, you know what? I could see him turning into a pretty good player one day. He is going to be a dynamite power forward for Providence in two years. <laughs> I do kind of wish I had the volume on because I do want to hear the boos. Just wondering how loud they are. It's not really making a whole lot of noise right now. Everybody's pretty much sitting on their hands at the moment. Well, yeah. But I know there have been periods of sustained booing. My parents said that when they were at that uh, women's game at Texas that it was like crazy loud. It was like, they were like, you got fans need to get their shit together, basically. Uh -huh. What a surprise that Larry just missed a mid-range jumper with 29 seconds on the shot clock. Oh, no. That's cool. Wow. That's good. That's good that that wow. <sighs> This was a terrible idea. <laughs> yep. Yeah, probably. Doing I mean, a live I mean, live potting this, all of these things were bad ideas. <laughs> doing a live pod of a game wasn't a bad idea. Doing it of this game was a bad idea. Well, this was the only one that was going to work with the uh, streaming. Oh, that's true. Issues. Maybe it's actually it's UConn's bad. fault for not being better. Just make a an open three. 
So really, oh, this God. terrible pot is brought to you by Kevin Ollie. Mm-hmm. Sure. There's a brain cat in my lap. That's not like that's in my head, but it's fine. Do we do we know what our all-time worst home loss is? We don't. This one. <laughs> it's about to be. I would imagine it's going to be close. I can't imagine we've lost many games by 30 at home. What was the Kansas at least game? The Calhoun was- era. Five travels. Are you kidding me? He took like six steps. Love to complain about a travel in a 31 point game. <laughs> like, this game wasn't a blowout. It was a loss, but it was surprisingly not a blowout. They lost by 11. Yeah, you kind of went up 25 points in the first half, despite starting Montpensio Hardnet in a game that. I mean, featured- because they started Montpensio yeah. Hardnet. Uh, Paul Pierce. I believe Rafe the Friends. Rafe the Friends was on that team. I was at that game. Was on that team. That was a good team. And and I actually was sitting and it was the Friends. It was like baller, like like fifth row, half court, and it was at the XL Center. And I don't know if I've ever heard that place. It was an absolute just bonkers shit show. And uh, you kind of was up twenty five points in the first half. We're all just like too bad they blew it. But yeah, then they did blow it, and because Kansas was undefeated going into that game. Also, I mean, also after. That game, but that was a wild game, but it was not a blowout. And that was the first game after uh, Ricky Moore and Kirk King got suspended. Yeah, which is why they were starting Mike Quincy or Dad. And and Richard Hamilton was playing point guard. It was a wild, wild game. Mm-hmm. This isn't very fun. Let's make fun of this commercial. What's that dog? That was a good dog. It's a Burma doodle. Is that like a Burma Burmese Burma mountain dog, dog slash poodle? Burma. Which I don't think that's real. I mean, you don't know. Hey, rude, gross. <laughs> Larry is two for 13 today. I don't remember. I only remember one basket. <gasps> Get one layup in transition. What? No. Oh, God, no. That's so fucked up. No. No. Veto. Oh, my God. I mean, okay, if there's there anybody who's watching this pod who thinks that we should hire Rick Patino. I want you to punch yourself in the face. Find someone else to punch you in the face. Like, no. I would rather hire. Do not. I don't know. Somebody bad. No. No. I would rather hire Jared from Subway. (laughs) (laughs) Just keep having Ollie if you're going to hire Pacino. Just keep Ollie. God. Yeah, I'd rather rather hire Bob Diaco. (laughs) There it is. I'd rather hire Glenn Miller. (laughs) <laughs> Maybe. I think hiring Bob Biacco as your basketball coach is definitely a worse move. Because mm-hmm. the worst part about Bob Biacco as your basketball coach is he would instantly assume he knew everything about basketball. Mm-hmm. Does he know more about basketball than Antoine Anderson? Probably. He probably doesn't know how bad Antoine Anderson does. So they're equal. We'll just hire Danielle. It'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Love to hire the central coach. (laughs) The central coach with two years on the job. Yeah, although, I mean, I probably better already. Well, this whole time, but like, he did just sign that with a big buyout. That doesn't matter. How big is it? How big? Like three, three million? What was it, Russ? You looked at this. What was what? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Michael's buyout. Yeah, I think it's like three million, but UConn would also owe Ali 11 million. Why did they do that? Because he won a national championship. They and did that. People no, like you. No, 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 no. They did not do that after the national championship. This is not a very. This is a new contract. In, oh, another, another. wow. Kenneth Buck brings up a good point in the chat here. Speaking of Diaco, remind everyone to turn off autoplay so we don't watch the ADB minute Bob Diaco's extension, which is up <laughs> next on the <laughs> back channel. That is a public service now. Oh, so no, I want to see that. I'm sorry. Apologies. <laughs> oh, 
28 points to Georgetown in 1987. Okay. Okay. So we're going to challenge it. Oh, leash. Lurch Dave did a thing. Let the bodies hit the floor. Oh, Jalen. It's such a Jalen Adams play. That was the most. Oh. Yeah, that's good defense, Dave. Just kind of just run into him. Like jog into him, like a medium pace. He went to Cornell. He went to Cornell. The man has a degree, his papers. It says, I was smart enough to graduate from Jesus. Cornell. All right, large Dave, retire. Bitch. That, that wasn't good. Would rather have Sean Miller is what I'm saying. I would rather have a different. Sean Miller available. I miss him. Yeah, Sean Miller. Sean, Sean Miller. Oh, Sean Miller. I thought you were saying the former other. Sean Miller. Sean. Arizona Sean head coach. Miller. That's what I was talking about. It's largely. I get it now. All right, I was distracted. Okay. Rust in the gorilla onesie and the rest phones. Really is I said I would do it. I'm going to do it. Why it. did you say you were going to do it? He was drunk, obviously. Right. I was drunk and Megan suggested it. It's true, I did. How did also, we know about the gorilla onesie? Because it was on Instagram. I put it on Instagram. Yeah. I don't I don't gram instantly. You should gram. Gramming is great. Not a grammar. There's all sorts of great grams. Including crackers. Up. <laughs> oh. Who doesn't like graham crackers? I okay. just what a dumb thing to say though. That's dumb, all I'm saying. It's a great dumb joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's six minutes to go in a 30 point game. I think we could say dumb shit. <laughs> and a a UConn Twitter search on Twitter is not fun. Why would you do that? Why would you do that to yourself? I just have one on my tweet deck. Oh. Sorry about that. Oh, just like it's just automatic. So when people are talking about UConn, it like gives you a lot of updates. Yeah, if any any tweet that mentions UConn it like pops up. I'm a, that I'm, was a mistake. I'm appreciating this tweet from your anonymous other half, Meech. North Korea launches a nuke now. It still has a chance to arrive in time to prevent this game from being technically completed. True. <sighs> and no one would remember how bad this team was. Calhoun is not there today. Wonder if he's at St. Joe's. St. Joe's, which does not currently have a basketball team, would beat this UConn team. <laughs> Ollie should resign. He really it would save, should. It would solve many problems. If maybe maybe all of them. He should demote himself to assistant coach. <laughs> I still feel like he's a really good assistant coach. He was a really good assistant coach, yeah. but he was only a really good assistant coach for about 15, 20 minutes before they made him the head coach. Yeah. And he wasn't ready to be that. I mean, he was a great guy to have on Jim Calhoun's staff. Let's be real about this. When you still had Jim Calhoun running your X's and O's and deciding how. And being running your program. Running your program and his job was to go recruit, which. Still a strange choice, huh? Bone, boneyard thread program is close to becoming a national joke. Close it, to no, it's there. It's there. Yeah. 
Purdue has made more threes. We're not than relevant than enough to be a national joke. We're a regional joke. Not when we're on national TV. Nobody watches broadcast television anymore. No, but they're watching this. They turn it off at halftime. We still have 11 people watching. That's probably as many people as are watching the game. Hey, they made a UConn kind of play. One. One. So, yeah, Purdue has more made threes than UConn has made field goals today. How did that not go in? No, Josh. So that could go in. I feel like Jalen's got like 30 points. I'm just making that up though. I would believe you. I, I don't even I don't even remember other people scoring. The towel's in double digits. Is he? I, I remember him hitting a three and making a couple free throws. Yeah. Jalen has uh I can't tell if this I just looked at the box score. Either is 16, I think he has 16. Vital is 13. I'm not sure if that. Yeah, it is. Ooh. Yeah, that was definitely a travel. That was very much a travel. I don't understand why they're like, traveling's fine today, actually. I, these are very bad referees. These are the worst refs I can recall seeing. Like, that's on another level of bad. Like, even the shitty refs can make that call. Terry Larrier. It's 3 of 14. Good. 0 of 6 from 3. Nice. He has four rebounds. That's okay. Two turnovers mm -hmm. and two fouls. Two turnovers wouldn't be bad if he wasn't atrocious at shooting. Zero assists, steals, or blocks. And six points. Good game. That is a very good game. Jalen Adams is seven for 17, two of five from three. He has, actually has 19. He has six turnovers, though. Well, two, four assists, four rebounds, one steal. Vital is three of nine, three of seven from three. So, and he's four or five from the line, which is nice. He's got six rebounds, all defensive rebounds, two assists, two steals, two turnovers, 13 points. Cards don't get a lot of offensive rebounds. Um, we have Josh Carlton has six offensive rebounds, eight total, eight points. He's only got two fouls, so that's you know good. Three of eight from the floor. We have really not taken very. We've only taken twenty-one free throws. Oddly enough, huh? That's a no, it's 12 three, 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 three. So there's 21 three pointers that we've taken today. We're five of 21 from three. That's just that's great. Kind of 12 from the line. Trading stats, it's really great. Jalen Brunson has 23 points. Yeah, he's good. That's what that's what guards, really good guards are supposed to do, is they're supposed to get better in college. We should try that. He's nine for 16, five, five of 11 from three, four assists, three turn, three turn, of course. One still. That Steven Chenzo kid's got 15 points, five of nine from three. His dad is Bruno. <laughs> uh. How many people do you think are going to be at this game at the end of the game? Less than a thousand. I'm pretty sure everyone's already gone. There were apparently were a lot of Villanova fans, so I'm going to say they'll all stay. That might not even be worth it for them. Oh God, Ali's extension was signed one day before Wagner. <laughs> That's rough. That you could literally pinpoint that day is the day the program died. Well, no, it would be when Pitt and Syracuse got in the ACC, but. I think it's when Louisville got in the ACC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until that happened. That's right. Mm -hmm. 
It's real, or or it's when Texas decided not to go to the pack. Yeah, but that was always a long shot. The Louisville thing was our our. It chance. looked like it was going to happen. I mean, that was the, the talk. Everybody thought it was going to happen. Florida State pit, pitched a shit fit because they didn't want a bad football team, and then four days before they announced it, we beat Louisville. Yeah, that was it's all. It's all done. Well, I mean, Syracuse and Pitt getting in over us after we had just won the league in football and won the national championship in basketball. It's ludicrous. That was a little irritating. And Rutgers getting into the Big Ten. Fuck you. <laughs> that was decades in the making, though. Wow. Which, why? What, what point during those decades was Rutgers somebody you wanted to add to your league? No, that was awesome. they, were, they were New Jersey and New York. They were Penn State's partner. That's nonsense. You know why? Because Penn State's not, well, they weren't a total embarrassment. Then other things happened. <laughs> I feel like Carlton hasn't played too bad. No, he's been he's been good. I yeah. He's really I think he's made progress. Like I could see him being a pretty yes. good college player. I like yeah. him. I like Whaley. Those are I, think I could see them forming the basis of a pretty solid front court in two years. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. And then, oh, and Vital's, now, down. Vital's holding his knee. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh we're not going to win another game this year. Nope. Antoine Anderson, 40, game, 40 minutes a game. Maybe he'll make two shots. He's all right. He's got it. Did he just, like, smash knees with somebody? Might have bonked knees. Oh, 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 yeah, that didn't look good. Oh, maybe, maybe oh, no. no, that's not, that's bad. We're totally going to let a guy who just blew out his knee finish this game. He does not look good. No, he, he hustles his balls off. Looks like they're going to sub for him if he makes this shot. Wow, he's in a lot of pain. He does not look good. Oh, good. Polly's coming out. God damn. He's walking on it, so that's... Props, yeah. props, to, props to that kid. It's probably not... Terrible, but oh, it man. looks like it hurts. XL still looks about half full, according to a banner. Uh, yeah, it's a good That's banner tweet. There's only a couple of those per year, so yeah, yeah, they don't really happen. That's a gift. <laughs> hey, we might actually get this under twenty. We didn't think it would pop. Be, uh, would be I possible. The spread was 17. We're Gamblers are very... The second half. Oh, ah. well, that was a foul. Absolutely that was, was a couple foul. of fouls. That was a foul. Yeah. What, what the, the hell was that? <laughs> Polly's body is made of flubber, confirmed. Did he just bounce in the air? What the hell just happened? Uh... The refs are like they've got bystander syndrome going on. They keep thinking the other guy's going to call a foul. Yeah, like that. There were like four fouls on. They that were possession. clobbering us in that possession. Not a single. Well, I don't understand. I'm confused. You kind of losing this game because of the refs. Absolutely. I mean, they're shitty, but like that doesn't mean that that the refs should not be held accountable for being awful. Oh my god, I want to punch this white guy in the face. Especially now. Nope. At least they acknowledge that the ball went out of bounds. I'm not surprised. I'm surprised he's resting just be like, just play it. <laughs> I 
That was about as accurate as I figured that shot would be. There's a kid on my team who's a pretty good three-point shooter, but he steps on the line when he takes threes about 70% of the time. You coach, really you coach Rodney Purvis? Somehow, like, worse, though. Jesus, what is that shot? <sighs> Polly has not been very impressive. No. See, they should have trapped him down there. They're not good enough. You got Whaley and Polly. You got the they don't know how to do it though. You You're... gotta set like you gotta trap him. Why not? Why did why did you not trap him on the baseline? Because know. they're dumb and bad players. No one has taught them that's what you're supposed to do. I wish this team had five Carlton's. Not be oh, a great no. dribbling team. That look at that. That's a beautiful move. Yeah. I can't believe how much he's been Polly. Carl and I was like, woof. Well, perhaps you whoever picked that kid out, because clearly that's working. He's got some he's got, nice moves. You know, he's got good size. He's athletic. He's not a great leaper, but he's got long arms. He can block shots. At times, he looks like a decent rebounder. Oh, fuck you. Stop taking – who's fucking taking threes then? Oh. Shot, shot clock is running out. Hey. Who was that? Molly. Oh, okay. Sure. Like, if you're going to play Polly, just stick him in the corner and do that five times a game. All right. Can we turn this off now? Who, who's going to get him five open shots a game? Well, that was one. Set that up, Jalen. Well, final thoughts, guys. For the, uh... we suck and we're never going to get better. Kevin Ollie retire, bitch. <laughs> I was actually about to say Kevin Ollie retire, bitch. Yeah. Do, do you have anything you want to say? Just this. Just that. That's all he's got. Well, thanks for joining us on this. Perhaps the only ever. Yeah, back. we're not doing this again. I'm very sweaty. I'm very sweaty right now. I want to change that on the onesie rest. No, I know. I'm going to do that as soon as we go off. I'm very. You have to leave that on for the rest of the day. <laughs> no. All right, everybody. I hope you're all real drunk, and the rest of your Saturday isn't as bad. Bye. Bye. Right, I'm stopping.